My name is Dr. Joseph Flynn. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist at Goldsboro OBGYN. The DaVinci robot has allowed us to have much more precision in both our visualization and in the instruments that we use. A lot of women who come to see me are referred from either a family practitioner's office or an internist, and they've been told they either have fibroids or endometriosis or some other form of pelvic pain that may require a hysterectomy. And they're very worried that they're going to be um, disfigured or in a lot of pain or uh, that they're not going to be able to recover from that kind of procedure. Uh, when I tell them that they might be able to have a laparoscopic procedure with minimally invasive incisions and a quick recovery time, they're much more at ease with the idea of having a hysterectomy and finally being rid of their pain or excessive bleeding. For patients that have uh, either endometriosis or large fibroids that would make visualization difficult if not impossible for open surgery, the Da Vinci robot allows us to see around those corners. Uh, we have 3D uh, visualization with our camera and we, can, we have angles on it where we can see around these areas and get down to the microscopic vessels that we need to seal uh, to allow us to do these types of procedures. In laparoscopic surgery, uh, you're limited uh, to how many instruments you can use because we're all born with just two arms. So we can only control two out of possibly four or even five instruments uh, that we can use at the same time. However, with the robot, I can control all four simultaneously. And this allows me to perform the surgery with more exact care. And I don't have to rely on an assistant to hold an instrument or hold a camera. I can do it all. Uh, when I tell patients that they're going to be having a, a surgery with a Da Vinci robot, uh, they may think that there's a robot doing the surgery, but I, I assure them that I will be controlling all the instruments. There's no robot controlling anything. We make four incisions. Uh, one is uh, tucked up inside the belly button where you almost never be able to see it again. Uh, and then the other three are between the belly button and the pubic bone. And they're each about a quarter inch in size. So the Da Vinci allows uh, for probably 95% of my patients to have a laparoscopic approach to hysterectomy, uh, which again is minimally invasive, very small incisions, much uh, less pain. Uh, prior to uh, me being able to use the Da Vinci robot, uh, we used to have to make a fairly large incision, maybe about six or seven inches uh, long. Uh, and that incision would create a lot of abdominal pain. Patients would usually be in the hospital for two to three days after their surgery. They would be given somewhere between 30 and 60 pain pills uh, to take over the next couple of weeks. They'd be maybe driving in about 10 to 14 days and usually back to work in six to eight weeks. With the Da Vinci robot laparoscopic hysterectomy, Patients are usually in the hospital just overnight. They usually take less than 10 pain pills. They're always driving within a week. Uh, and they're usually back to work anywhere from two to four weeks if they have a non-heavy lifting job, and usually still six weeks if they have a heavy lifting job. I would say that the biggest difference I've seen in my patients that have had Da Vinci robot hysterectomy as opposed to either a vaginal hysterectomy or an open hysterectomy is how well they feel at their one to two week checkup. And again, at four to six weeks, how much faster they're back to being a productive person. Mm -hmm.